Lawmakers at the state capitol pulled an all-nighter debating on whether to raise the state's minimum wage to $15 an hour here in Connecticut, and they're still going. The big question now is, when will a decision be made? Channel 3's Eva Zamaris has been live at the state capitol since early this morning. Eva, how do things stand now? Well, good afternoon to you, Kara. It has been a non-stop go since 10 o'clock last night. Now, take a quick peek behind me right now. You can see that they are still here. We've heard a number of different times as to when this will all wrap up. We're being told that this could be finished up and a vote could be happening any minute now. If this goes through, more than 320,000 workers here in Connecticut will be getting a raise. Both sides are working to reach an agreement and discussing the concerns that have come up about raising the minimum wage. Some of those concerns include the impact this will have on business owners. They tell us it will get too expensive and cost jobs. The plan being considered right now would raise the minimum wage over the course of four years. Starting in January of 2020, it would go from $10.10 an hour up to $11.25 an hour. By 2023, minimum wage would be $15 an hour. To appease seasonal employers, 16 and 17 year olds would get paid 85% of the minimum wage during a 90 day period. After that, they would get the full amount. We spoke with both sides today. Here's what they had to say. Wages artificially low, so companies continue to make money and workers continue to suffer. And the more mandates you put on businesses, the less people will have jobs. This bill on the surface may sound like it's fair, but there's so many unintended consequences. And in the time that we've been here, we've also seen them vote on several amendments working to reach some form of an agreement and a deal. Now, if the House does approve raising the minimum wage, it will go to the Senate. Democratic Governor Ned Lamont says he will sign it. Now, be sure to stay with us, not only on our, but of course on our Channel 3 app for the very latest on this story. Once again, we are expecting a vote any minute now. We will have much more on this story coming up tonight on Eyewitness News starting at 5. Live in the state capitol this afternoon, I'm Evans Maris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you.